Hi class! Welcome to today's math lesson. Today we're going to be talking about how we can count by ones, by tens, and by one hundreds. We often use our one hundreds chart when we're practicing counting. And I would like for us to start practicing counting by ones. Let's count all the way to 20 by counting by ones. We're going to start here. Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We were counting by ones. If we counted by ten, we would be skipping all the line, all the way down to 10. The tens are all on the red numbers. Let's count by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What would the next number be? It would be 110. Now, sometimes we count by 100, and we start at 100. We've practiced this before. Let's count to 1,000 by 100s. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Good counting. We're going to look at a few different ways that we can count by ones, tens, and hundreds. Class, sometimes we skip count with our number charts. The first one, our number one, is just counting by ones. Let's do it together, all the way to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then our number ten chart. We skip count by ten. Let's do those together. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, one hundred, ten, one hundred and twenty. I don't have one for one hundred, so I'm going to write it on the board for you. Let's look at it. I've written our skip counting by 100s on the board. Let's say them together. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. You'll notice on 1,000 that I put the one way over here and there aren't any numbers there. That's because I put it in the one thousandths place. And there's a zero in the hundredths place, and a zero in the tens place, and a zero in the ones place. Class, another way that we can be counting by ones, tens, and one hundreds is by using our base ten blocks. Do you remember that the little tiny ones we count by one? The long ones are a rod of 10. And the flat ones have 10 groups of 10, so they're 100. We count these by 100, the rods by 10, and the individual ones by one. So, if I had two of the 100 blocks, how many would I have all together? This would be 200. What if I also had four of the rods? One, two, three, four. That would mean that we would have 240. 240. Let's see if I can hold another couple. Two more. This would be 242. Let's take a closer look at counting with some base 10 blocks. Let's take a look at some of our base 10 blocks. Here we have 100, 200, 300. 
we have three in the hundreds place. Three hundred. And then here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we would have 50, giving us 354. We have 354 of our base 10 blocks. All right, well, I've put out some new blocks. Let's take a look at this. Here I have two groups of 100, 100, 200. I'm going to put a 2 in the 100's place. Then here, let's see how many groups I have of 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I have 7 groups of 10, so I'm going to put that in my 10's place. And then here with my ones, I have one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put the five in my ones place. I have 275 of the base 10 blocks. Let's take a look at our place value chart. Here I have one group of 100. So I'm going to put a one in my hundreds place. Let's see how many groups of 10 we have. Here's one bundle. One, two, three, four, five. There are five bundles of 10. So if we were to count them, that would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm going to put a five in my tens place. And let's see how many leftover little ones we have. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put a four in the ones place. Here I have 154 popsicle sticks. Let's try this again with another number. Let's take a look at these bunches of popsicle sticks. I only have one bunch of a hundred. There's a hundred popsicle sticks there. So I'm going to put my one in my hundreds place. How many groups of 10 do I have? One, two, three. That would be 10, 20, 30. I'm going to place my three in the tens place. And how many little ones do I have? I can count them. One, two. So there's just two to go into our ones place. I have 132 popsicle sticks. Hmm. I'm wondering if you could find groups of something so that you can count. Maybe you could make little bags of pennies or you could have bags of tiny little toys like Lego and you could count them in groups of 100, tens, and ones. We can count by 100, tens, and ones. Class, I know that you're going to do a great job counting by hundreds, tens, and ones. And I would like for you to practice counting by ones, tens, and hundreds today. I know that you'll do really well. Have a great day, class. Bye-bye.